Government's discount on shark deterrence has proved popular, with hundreds of water users taking up the offer, but very few of them are young surfers. Some don't like the design of the, the deterrent, which others don't know about. Jake and Chris love to surf. Their favourite breaks are in the southwest, and for these teenagers, sharks aren't a problem. Both have deterrents on their surfboards. Every time I'm down there, I'm always surfing all the sharkier places. And yeah, just the, with the repeller, it just makes me feel safer. Makes you feel more safe out there. And maybe for your parents, it makes your parents feel like that you're safe out there and you're not going to get eaten by anything or get bit by any sharks. Jake's dad, Dave, makes repeller, a shark deterrent that sits in the bottom of surfboards. My kids have been using them now for over five years and there's no way that I would let them in the water locally or, or in the WA without a product like this. In May, the state government announced the $200 subsidy scheme for shark deterrents, but many surfers say the deterrents covered by the scheme don't suit them. Some have equipment which drag in the water and others can wrap around their legs. Other deterrents are available but need to be scientifically tested before they are accepted into the rebate scheme. And while Rapella ticks the boxes for surfers, it's still being tested. It needs to be tested with these great whites in a controlled environment. The rebate was announced just weeks after 17-year-old Letitia Brower was killed by a shark near Esperance. But of the 650 people who applied for the rebate, by the end of September this year, less than 7% were under 25. Green Southwest member Diane Evers wants to make more young surfers aware of the rebate. Including the mothers of the young kids that are out there, I found that a lot of them were saying, oh, what is this? I hadn't heard about it. It's life or death, basically. It's going to save your life. Emily Evans, GWN 7 News.